this video I'm going to install Manjaro 15.12 on an external drive using actual hardware. In this case I used a USB flash drive for the installation and it worked perfectly. Uh, see my general video on using Linux on external drives for more information. When the live system loads, you'll see this welcome screen. Uh, note that there are three methods of installation. Thus, which is a new installer, uh, still under development. Calamares, which is the one that I'm going to use. And the CLI, or command line interface installer. For now, I'm going to close that welcome screen and connect to my wireless network. It's connected. I'm going to click on the Calamaris installer. The language of installation is English. They think I'm in London. However, that's easy to remedy. Now I'm in Chicago. Next, it guesses my keyboard correctly. English US default. Now there are three options. Replace a partition with Manjaro 1512. Erase disk and install Manjaro. And manual partitioning. I'm going to use manual partitioning. The partition editor opens with a display of what's on the SDA drive, my internal drive. I have two Windows partitions, a Linux swap partition and a Linux root partition. I'm going to choose the external drive and then at the bottom I'm going to choose to make that the location of the bootloader. Now I'm going to click on free space and then create. This is not what I want so I'm going to make a Linux swap area and give it 6000 megabytes. OK. Now I'm going to click on free space again and create. This is not quite what I want either. I want it to be an EXT4 partition. The rest of it is OK. I'm going to use the rest of the unallocated space. Notice that they show more there than is actually available. That's because one of them is calculated in gigabytes and one of them is calculated in megabytes. And a gigabyte is not a thousand megabytes. A gigabyte is a thousand twenty-four megabytes. And that's because we're in a binary system which uses powers of two, not in a decimal system. It is going to be mounted at root, so I'm going to click on OK. Now that looks pretty good. I have the two partitions I want. I have the bootloader on my external drive. And I'm going to click on Next. Now I've entered a name. The system has generated a username and it's generated a computer name. I can change either of those. The username has to be lowercase though. Now I've entered a password and I've confirmed the password. Uh, I'm going to uncheck login automatically but I'm going to leave use the same password for the administrator account and then click on next. Now this is a summary of what I have. Time zone is America, Chicago. The keyboard is the default keyboard. 
English U.S. Under partitions, it shows what used to be on device SDC, which was free space, and it shows my new partition. It says I have 6,000 megabytes, and it's Linux swap on SDC. Then I have uh, 947,866 megabytes on SDC, which is file system ext4. It's going to install Manjaro on the new xt4 system, and it's going to install the bootloader on device sdc. So I'm going to click on next. Now it's in the process of installing. This went rather quickly in about 10 minutes, but I'm going to interrupt the video. Now it's finished, and I have an option of restarting now or not. I'm going to leave that unchecked, and I'm going to click on Quit. So instead of restarting, it goes back into the live system. When I'm ready, I can log out on the lower right corner, but I'm going to choose the whisker menu instead. I'm going to log out and then I can either shut down or suspend. Now Manjaro doesn't tell you to remove the installation medium but I'm going to do it and make sure that the system is ready to boot from my external drive. However, before I do anything else, I'm going to go back and try another method of partitioning. I noticed that the second option there was to erase the disk and install Manjaro 1512. However, below that it says you will be offered a choice of which disk to erase. So I'm going to try that. And then click on Next and I see that it has my internal drive on the left, my installation flash drive in the middle, and my external drive on the right. I'm going to select that one and it automatically gives me a partitioning scheme. The before was entirely free space and the after is one new partition with 927.5 gigabytes a new partition with four gigabytes. I'm left to guess about what they are, but I'm pretty sure I know which is which. So I'm going to click on Next. Now this shows me the same thing. It's going to create a new MS-DOS partition table on device SDC. It's going to create a new 949 1739 megabyte partition on device SDC with a file system ext4 and it's going to create a 4126 megabyte partition on device SDC with a file system Linux swap. It's going to install Manjaro on the new ext4 system partition. However, there's a serious problem it wants to install the bootloader on device SDA. That's my internal drive. I don't want that. So I'm going to go back and back and back. And I'm going to try manual partitioning again. Click on Next. I'm going to first I'm going to first place my bootloader on device SDC. Then I'm going to get the information for my external disk and it shows me the automatic partitioning that it first selected. But now my bootloader is going to be on device SDC. So I'm going to click on Next and reviewing that information 
I see that it's just the way I wanted. However, this appeared to be more cumbersome than just using manual partitioning, so I'm going to stick with that scheme. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.